Thank you for migrating from Salesforce to HubSpot. You're not alone, as a lot of businesses out there think of that migration. So why is that? HubSpot, easy to use, better to implement, and superior RevOps functionalities, especially on marketing. But it's a daunting task, and there is one thing that businesses often forget, and that's data migration. In this video, I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step on how can you migrate from Salesforce to HubSpot. Hi everyone, my name is Stefan. I'm the CEO of Longcom Consulting, and I lead the team of specialists in migrating businesses from Salesforce to HubSpot. If you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to leave you a link to a download free content where you can get your guide on how to migrate from Salesforce to HubSpot. So let's dive in. Okay, the first question comes, why should you migrate from Salesforce to HubSpot? Salesforce, although being one of the first CRMs out there in the market, it's slowly becoming legacy, while HubSpot is really up there with the trends. And it's very appealing to businesses, SMEs, large businesses, enterprise level businesses, wholesalers, tech companies, anyone out there, HubSpot is definitely on their mind if they are thinking about the CRM. So why is that? HubSpot is much more user-friendly than Salesforce. Its functionality, its front-end, all of these things are much more user-friendly than Salesforce as a legacy tool. Second thing is better RevOps functionality. Let's face it, all of us using a CRM want to know one thing. What are the best sources of my money in marketing and what does it bring into deals? And HubSpot has that amazingly connected from ads, from events, from webinars, all of that having in one place will lead to that deal amount closed one. Knowing where to spend your money is part of RevOps that HubSpot absolutely has nailed on. The third reason is that HubSpot is a much more future proof tool. When looking at the new features between Salesforce and HubSpot in the last year, HubSpot definitely wins 250 plus of them. So definitely HubSpot is keeping up with the trends much more than Salesforce. Because of these three reasons, businesses want to migrate from Salesforce onto HubSpot. HubSpot's new functionality, especially in sales, has definitely parried with Salesforce in the last couple of years. So definitely HubSpot is the new and the trendy thing when it comes to CRMs. Okay, you made up your mind. Now is the time to migrate. So what are the next steps? What are the all the areas that you have to look at when migrating from Salesforce onto HubSpot? Look, let's face it, it's not an easy task, especially if you've been using Salesforce for a couple of years. Probably there is a lot of customization in Salesforce and you want to keep that customization when moving on to HubSpot. So what are all the areas that you need to focus on to do that? First thing before I go into it, you have to still bear in mind that Salesforce is a much more customizable tool than HubSpot is. So it might not be the right thing to migrate on to HubSpot, although the majority of things you will be able to do. The first thing to migrate is flows to HubSpot's workflows. We know businesses and there is a lot of them that have 250 plus automations, even 10 automations, even 50, 100 will make that change quite different. So the first thing that you have to do is migrate the automations from Salesforce onto HubSpot. The second thing is the customizations when it comes to layouts and everything around the user journey of the CRM. Record layouts need to be migrated. HubSpot is a little bit different than Salesforce, so it's not that customizable. You have to think about also in that way, you have to tell your users what they're changing to, so that comes into implementation and training. But customizations when it comes to record layouts and the user journey, the buttons and various other integrations is definitely part of it. As I mentioned integrations, the third thing that you need to migrate is integrations. That's everything from email, your calling system, your website, all of these have to be migrated into HubSpot. It's not an easy task. You have to go one by one. You have to teach your users. It's never going to be a clean cut. Okay, we're using Salesforce into the first. After the first, we're using HubSpot. No, it just doesn't work like that. You have to account for training. You have to account for implementation, for development, and all of these areas. But integrations are a big thing. In today's world of SaaS, we all use multiple SaaSes. And that's why integrations are the key. If you have them in Salesforce, you have to definitely move them into HubSpot. The last part that you have to think well, maybe the first, but I mentioned it here the last because we're going to develop that topic a bit further, is the data migration. Whether you've been using Salesforce for a year or 10 years, on 20 years, you want that data moved 
into your new environment of HubSpot. And that's maybe the most complex piece, especially if you use Salesforce for a long time, your processes might have changed. That means the data might have changed. You have to look at inconsistencies. You have to look at unstandardized data, missing data. And do you want to have all of that junk into HubSpot? No, you definitely need cleaning up. New processes also might indicate that data needs to be formatted in a different way. So data migration, although it's always left the last thing to think about, needs to be the first because data is the goal of each of the businesses. So now let's dive into data migration because that piece is very, very important. Here are the two ways that you can migrate data from Salesforce to HubSpot. The first is if you're a very simple business, you haven't been using Salesforce a long time, there is not a lot of contact records, not a lot of lead records, not a lot of company records or account records in Salesforce. So what you can do definitely is just export all the data from Salesforce and input it into HubSpot. This is the easy way. This is the way where you don't have a lot of complexities of custom objects. And the best way to do that is if you just go into Salesforce, click on setup, search for data export and export the whole data. You're gonna get the CSVs on your file, unzip them and upload them into HubSpot. You might need to create a couple of new properties, but the recommendation here is that you just replicate all the data as it is in Salesforce and then start cleaning it up in HubSpot. There are many ways that you can clean this up. If you bought into Operations Hub, I would definitely recommend using the tools there. If you need any help, let us know. We are experts in Operations Hub. We've been using it with a lot of clients. So definitely make sure to check out in the description our contact us form and reach out if you have any problems or you need any help with operations hub. When it comes to that, also workflows. Workflows in HubSpot can be leveraged for data cleaning for sure. If you need to map some data, if you need to change some data, automations are much faster than you again exporting and importing the Excel spreadsheets from HubSpot. So if you're a simple hub, uh, Salesforce user, I would definitely recommend moving on to HubSpot by using the CSV exports. But now, what if you're not? What happens then? Well, then you need to leverage the APIs. And how are you going to identify whether you need the simple way that I firstly described or you need the API coding way to migrate all of your data? You will know by number of customizations, number of automations, number of custom objects that you have there, size of your data. So if it's, let's say, more than a thousand contacts, more than a thousand accounts altogether, you would need to consider all of these areas. So if that happens, go via the root of API. If you're going down the root of API, you will need some coding knowledge, but that's where you can always reach out to experts like us that can help you migrate all of that data. When does data migration really come in place? Well, it's always kind of parallel with the workflows migration and with the integrations migration because integrations and workflows also create data in your system. And what the best thing about that in HubSpot is that you have the visibility of which contact company or deal has enrolled into a certain workflow. While in Salesforce, you really don't have all of that. So make sure to think about that. But back to the API migration. The thing is, you have to look at all the objects. So what are you using in Salesforce? If you're using leads, contacts, accounts, cases, how are they being migrated into HubSpot? So the first step over there is look at all of your object and also custom object. Can you also migrate them into HubSpot? How are you gonna do that? Bear in mind that only an enterprise level subscription of HubSpot, you will be able to create custom objects. And that's when we kind of get into the complexity. Even more complex thing is, let's say, quotes or invoices. Those are PDF files. How are you going to migrate files? Or let's say about your pictures or anything that your customer sent is and is recorded on Salesforce. You need to migrate it via the API. You will need some coding knowledge. That's just how it is, but it's just a safer and a better way. Another thing that you have to consider during the API migration is that now is the time to clean your data. Yes, I did say that it's a daunting process. It's a long process, but do you want all of that junk in, in your new HubSpot, new shiny HubSpot? No, you don't want that. So definitely you need to clean all of the data once you get it via the API in Salesforce. And that's when you kind of go into the work side. What are we changing? How are we changing it? Has there been any inconsistencies in the past data? Can we replicate any new data? And why are we doing all of that? reporting and dashboards. That's the key of the CRM. CRM should in a business be one single source of truth. That centralized place that holds all the data for your business that you can leverage for reporting and dashboards and later on to use for better business data driven decision making. That's the key. That's the key. That's why we are migrating all of that data. And that's where we come into how to do it via the API. 
reach out if you have any problems or check out our free downloadable free content in the description of this video on how to migrate via the API. Okay, you've decided it's either gonna be the simple or the complex way. You found a consultant that can also help you that, your internal team can help you migrate, you found yourself there. But what are the common challenges that businesses face even when they have the migration fully nailed down? So the first thing is Time. Sometimes, especially in the data migration piece, you don't know what's in there. You don't have that data management tools in place. And then you find yourself that, okay, I said to myself, three months migration from Salesforce onto HubSpot. But when you start digging deep into the data, you saw, oh my God, a problem after a problem after a problem. So how to do that? What I would recommend is the first thing, even before thinking about workflows, but when you decided you're gonna migrate from Salesforce to HubSpot, to look at the data, do the data audit, plan for that data. How are you gonna map it into HubSpot? Which new properties need to be created? How are you gonna map fields to properties? How are you gonna migrate objects to objects in HubSpot? Do you need any custom objects? What are the workflows? When do you turn them on? When do you turn them off? All of these things need discussing even before taking the first step from really migrating. So proper planning is very, very important and that's gonna influence your timescales on this project. Data complexity this is the second common challenge. Yes, I already mentioned that, but what are the things that you can face? Inconsistencies, missing data, unstandardized data, and unclear data. If you've been using Salesforce for five plus years, for example, you 100% have changed the business, changed your digital process, changed your business processes, changed your sales processes, marketing process, operations process, all of these, and they dictate the data within your system. So you have to decide, what am I gonna do with that old data? We always do recommend migrating the data all of it into HubSpot. Why? Because we need to know it. We need to learn from it. So don't only migrate your closed one opportunities to closed one deals. Migrate also closed lost ones because we need to learn from why was it closed lost. So don't only think about the positive side of things. We need to know the negative because that dictates some of the business data-driven decisions altogether. The third reason is missed steps. So do you remember what everything that I spoke about in this video? You need to migrate the workflows, you need to migrate integrations, you need to migrate reporting and dashboards, you need to migrate the data, but you also need to implement the system. You need to train your team to the new system. Ideally in a migration, you would have a little bit of a period where both systems are running, where people can literally on one screen put Salesforce and the other one HubSpot and then try to find things. But it's a very exciting thing to move and migrate the CRM system. You have to sell it to your team. You have to do all of these things. There is a lot of steps in the migration. Check out our free content in the below in descriptions, which basically describes all of these steps in detail that you have to take when migrating from Salesforce to HubSpot. The last thing, and I did briefly mention about that, is team adoption. Okay, let's face it, people, CRM users, you will have to sell a new system to them. A lot of people just don't want to change. It's a complex thing that they don't want to spend their time on, they're scared of, and changes are never easily adopted in the team. So you really have to sell it out there. How are you going to benefit the business? How are you gonna benefit them with this move? Think about team adoption in general, because that's quite important. You have to remember that if you don't migrate well, if you don't implement and develop new Salesforce in the right way, taking all the previous steps that I've mentioned, there is gonna be a disaster. So take your time, plan properly, and then go into action. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through an example that we've done for a client, moving them from Salesforce to HubSpot. So let me set the scene. They've been a sales company, B2B, using Salesforce for seven years. A lot of data, we're talking here 100,000 plus accounts, 150,000 contacts, 30,000 opportunities, and four or five custom objects. So definitely a complex piece. They approach us saying, can we do this via the CSV export and import? Straight away, we were a little bit concerned about what the data is gonna be like and saying then it's not very possible. They definitely assured us that it is possible. But then with the proper data audit, what we've done for them is we persuaded them that this is a complex beast. And all of a sudden, what they thought that can be done in a week, had to take two months to do. Yes, it was a complex thing. It didn't cost a couple of dollars or a couple of pounds or a couple of euros. It was a big project altogether. But after two months, they started seeing the benefits of HubSpot, new functionality. We migrated them. We helped them implement with the team. The team adoption was quite a big topic because they had some problems in friction between sales and customer service and then the system adoption of it all together. So it was a very good case study in the end and the HubSpot is beautiful now for that client. They've been enjoying it now for two plus years when we migrate them. 
them. But it's a big move for them. It was very daunting, but we helped them throughout all of that process. But then again, coming back to that common challenges, they didn't see the data complexities until we showed them. It definitely wasn't an easy task in the end, but we got there, right? So that was the most, most important thing. You know, they didn't see that one common challenge, data complexity. We had to show it to them. And that's one of the things that we see out there in the market quite often. So data complexities can sometimes lead to bigger projects, a lot of you know, money spent on this, but definitely recommend it to move from Salesforce to HubSpot due to its better functionality, better reporting, and better overall system altogether. So to summarize, here are my actionable tips on how to migrate from Salesforce to HubSpot. First of all, you have to think about why you're migrating. Is HubSpot gonna meet all of your needs that Salesforce is? In majority of cases, it, the answer is gonna be yes, but why are we doing that is a bigger picture for the business. The second thing is I would say start early, start planning early, right? So all of the things that I previously mentioned in the video from the data, reporting, workflows, integrations, they all have to be accounted for in this migration. The third step is run a test migration. So how do we usually do that? Take a small sample of data, take a small sample of workflows, reports and dashboard and migrate them into HubSpot. See how it looks, show it to a couple of users, get their feedback. Also, another thing that what might be worth mentioning here, apart from cleaning up the data, you might want to change a little bit of your process, a little bit of your automations. Don't think that just the migration is replicating Salesforce into HubSpot. Learn about HubSpot functionalities. Work with consultants in order to gain the whole holistic view of what HubSpot can do. That will dictate that some of the things in the migration might need changing. After you migrate that, you have to do a post-migration validation. That's a process that we are really, really big on and we are saying that everybody needs to do that. So all of that migrated data from Salesforce to HubSpot after migration needs to be validated. Let's see if everything is okay. We have like an error rate between one to three percent on what we need changing due to technical complexity sometimes or the changes overall that the business wanted within this migration. So post-migration validation is very, very important. The last thing is definitely train your team. So even before you migrate everything, you definitely need to show HubSpot to your new team, get their feedback. Always the decisions about migrations come from the top, from management C-suite. But you have to think about that majority of them are just using reporting and dashboards and maybe some task management tools within the CRM. You have to talk to your end users. You have to see whether they would like this migration and then proceed with it. Then you have to think about implementation. You have to think about training and you don't have to wait for the whole migration to finish and then starting your training your team. There are smaller bits that can happen parallelly as the migration is happening. Here are my five actionable tips that you can do when migrating from Salesforce to HubSpot spot. I've given you a lot of information, but if you find this video interesting and you learned something new, please hit like and subscribe button. Also, in the description of this video, you will find the link to our free content, giving you a step-by-step -step migration guide from Salesforce to HubSpot. Check it out. It has some extremely valuable tips that basically summarize this whole video. So take a look at it if you're thinking about this migration. And lastly, good luck migrating. Thank you for listening.